Hey everybody, Star Six Wars One here, and welcome to the next Months of Gynax video. For this one, we are taking a look at the OVA Gunbuster. Now, Gunbuster is like um, Apple C, one of the oldest creations Gynax ever made. In fact, I if I'm correct, I believe it's their third. Though that could be wrong. But I'll say this right now. Out of the out of between Apple C and this, I think this is better. Why is that? Well, let's go over it. First up, the story. In the very near future, insectoid aliens are discovered traveling through the galaxy. These aliens called space monsters are here to eradicate the human race. And if the basic premise of that does not sound like star Starship Troopers, then I don't know what does, because seriously, that is the basic premise of Starship Troopers. The heavy, And to be honest, it feels very much like Starship Troopers at that. But maybe more on that later. Our hero, Noriko, who is the daughter of an admiral fighting these ones is trained to fight them herself. She will encounter hardship, a few angsty moments, well, I never consider them angsty, but that's besides the point, and will grow stronger because of it. Honest to God, I actually rather like the story. True, it feels very similar to other shows and movies like Starship Troopers and Evangelion, but to be very honest, I think feel like there was genuine effort put into the story and characters of this. Seriously, if you've not seen... If you, this story is pretty good. And I definitely think it's one of Hideki Anno's best. Though, to give credit where it's due, a lot of the others were all... A lot of the other people were also involved with this, and I think they did a fairly good job. Next up, the characters. Okay, I'll say this right now. The characters are a 50-50. They're either one note or really good. Personally, my favorite character is the main character, Noriko. Who very much... Who starts out as a bit of a crybaby and a little bit like Shinji Ikari. But by the end is more kind of like Simone. In that she develops past her fear and self-doubt... And becomes a stronger person because of it. She is by far my favorite character in the story. But to give mention to some of the other characters. They're not half bad either. Personally, I definitely say the characters are thumbs up. Now the sad thing is, from what I'm aware of, there is no dub. Though I could be wrong on this. But I'm from what I'm guessing, there is no dub to this. Which, again, is kind of sad. But, I'll take what I can get. I think it was actually pretty good. So, great characters and great story. Next up, the animation. Okay, before any of you said, these were made in the back of the 1980s. Or at least this one was. And, to be very bluntly honest, yeah, it kind of looks like it. There's a lot of animation shortcuts in a lot of places. And yeah, the last episode is anime in black and gray and black and I think white. But I definitely think for the time, the animation is pretty good. Okay, it's not the best and it could have been a hell of a lot better. But give credit where it's due, for the time, it looks pretty decent. It's got its problems. But most anime of the 80s and 90s, at least animation-wise, do anyways. And yeah, that last episode was anime in black and white. But I think that was purposely done because the last scene turns back to color. Not going to spoil why. But let's just say, have fun. Next up, the music. Kind of like my last review from Recuity Honey. Sadly, the music I do find is Gunbuster's weak. One of Gunbu Gunbuster's weaker points. 
Now, not to say the music's bad. It's not. I just don't think it's all that strong. And compared to some of the other tracks I've heard out there, this is one of the weaker ones. But I think it complements the rest of the show pretty well. And the opening theme for the first four episodes was fairly decent. But that goes to personal taste in music. Now, I've seen a lot of good points with Gunbuster. Are there any negative points? Kind of. First up, and this is something I gotta mention. You know in anime how you have very, um... The jiggling breasts is a form of fan service? This is where it was introduced. Yes! It's Gynax that introduced this. To anyone who feels that's degrading, blame Gynax. And yes, blame Gunbuster, because this is where it was introduced. So yeah, you get that. And yeah, there are some nudity scenes here and there, but compared to Re Cutie Honey, which like half the enemy is in the nude, this one's actually a bit tamer. I think it was more extreme for its time, but compared to some of the other shows like Mahalo Matic and Re Cutie Honey that would come out later, I think this is actually fairly tame nudity. Sadly, yeah, you'll get a few breast shots. Sorry, but that kind of happens that way. Finally, and this is something I want to point out that's personal opinion here, and proven fact. I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but this is a spiritual predecessor to both Neon Genesis Evangelion and Gurren Lagann. This is where a lot of ideas, I think, came up. Noriko herself is very much like Shinji Ikari, though I think Noriko is better than the two. One of the characters later introduced is very much like Asuka, but again, I think she's more simple here, but better done. And not so soon, Derry. Thank God. Truthfully, a lot of tropes that would be later used for Gynax were used here. So, there's that. I will say this right now. This feels like a genuine effort and a very well done anime. Truth be told, this feels like a labor of love and... In my opinion, unlike Appleseed, which doesn't hold up that well, Gunbuster holds up fairly well as an anime. And for that reason alone, I'd recommend you watch it. Okay, yeah, the nudity scenes can be a little hard to get through sometimes, but just try and look past those, because I really genuinely think this is one of Gynax's better series. Up there with some of the other great series that I've seen with them. Seriously, I do recommend this one. Even though it is another sci-fi mecha show, it's one of the older ones, and it's the one that would eventually create some of the future shows that would be make Gynax the way it is. I give Gunbuster a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, yeah, the animation is not aged all that well, and you could argue the music and fan service definitely hurt the series. But un but they're not the main focus, and they and I think everything else, especially the effort that was felt in this one, make up for it tenfold. So I do recommend you watch this, if only once. Anyways, that's all from me. This has been Star Six Wars 1, and I'll see you guys next time.